What do you think about when you hear the words inflation and interest rates? What if I told you that I have a solution that would help you beat the game of inflation and interest rates with real estate? Would you be interested? I think you might. What I have to share is some statistics and some legitimate reasons why you actually can beat the game of inflation and interest rates with real estate. Hi, I'm Melissa Shore of Lewis Realtors, founder, and I've been in the trenches for over 21 plus years. And I'm about people living their best life. And I believe a way that you can do that is creating asset wealth for you and your family. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can establish wealth through assets and beat the game of inflation and interest rates. So did you know that if you had a mortgage of about $500,000 at an 8% interest rate, that you could actually save over $220,000 in interest and seven years off your mortgage if you just made one extra payment a year? Pretty significant, right? Well, you could say, Melissa, I can't even barely afford, you know, my mortgage payment right now with inflation and interest rates. Well, here's another solution. You could make bi-monthly payments to make up that extra payment a year, or you can just make that extra amount once a month to your principal payment that you're making and make it towards your principal. The savings are significant. Wouldn't you agree? Another interesting fact why real estate is a great hedge against inflation is because of the purchasing power in history. If you look at it, if you look at the purchasing power of just $10,000, for example, in 1964, and then we move through to 1984, that same $10,000 was barely worth above 3000 And then you move forward in history to 2004, it was barely worth over 1600 And then today in 2024, it'd be like $1,002. Can you believe that? That is really significant. Now take a walk back with me in history again, okay? And say in 1964, you invested that same $10,000 in a $10,000 down payment for maybe it's a $100,000 home, right? And then now let's fast forward. If inflation, at the same rate of inflation, in 1984, you're looking actually closer to about $323,000. And then in 2004, you're looking at closer to about $600,000. And then today, you're looking, due to inflation, of over a million bucks. I don't know about you, but that is a huge huge reason and great investment and hedge against inflation and using it to your advantage. Through these few examples, you can see how real estate can be a hedge, a great hedge against inflation. I've also shared with you how you can increase your equity in your home by making additional payments throughout the course of your loan, whether it's once a year, it's broken up into bi-monthly payments, or you just take that payment and divide it up over 12 months. And it reduces the length of your loan term significantly and your interest that you're paying. So if you would like more information on how your next steps move in real estate, please, Click the link below and book a call so we can get started together.